What's up, Arizona? Hi. Thanks for having me. Well, before I even get into material, I got to tell you what I saw out in the parking lot. I don't know if this guy was like drunk or what, but he's on the ground and he's yelling, I lost it, I lost it. And I was concerned. I'm like, sir, what did you lose? And he goes, my balance, man. <laughs> We should have had him on the show. <laughs> so a little bit about me. I am married, 45 years old, got teenagers. Oh. Yeah. So during my set, if anyone wants to shoot me, <laughs> I promise you I will not duck. <laughs> so my kids are pretty quick witted. Um, my one son, he goes, dad, you look like an indecisive person. I'm like, why is that? And he goes, because you got two chins and you're only trying to grow a beard on one of them. <laughs> My other son goes, he goes, Dad, you look like Nicolas Cage. Wow. If he had diabetes. <laughs> and then my one, uh, he, they got friend down the street, a teenager, and he goes, Mr. Perry, you look like... Uh, that new NSYNC boy band, Lance Bass Pro Shop. It's a rough crowd. This is my family. So uh, I just celebrated a birthday. Yeah. yeah. So when you think of your birthday, you know, you get gift cards, clothes. You know what I got for my birthday? Fat. That's what I got. <laughs> Yeah, I, I gained like 15 pounds. That's why the kids are making all these fat jokes. And I'm getting depressed about it. I've been crying in front of the mirror naked once a week. <laughs> Last week, they finally escorted me out of the coals. <laughs> so, you guys are a great crowd. So, you know, you think of, when you think of kids and teenagers, hear me out. I think teenagers are like termites. You don't see them very often. They slowly destroy your house. And it costs way too much to have them exterminated. Right? <laughs> so, I got a simple math question for you, ma'am. No tricks, okay? One plus one equals... Two is what we think, right? Yeah. It's actually three when you don't wear a condom. Oh. <laughs> Ironically, we did that on a pull-out couch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of condoms. They kind of creep me out. Did you guys hear about that camouflage condom? Yeah, the motto on the box says, don't let her see you coming. <laughs> Kind of gross. <laughs> no, so we got two too many. So I decided to get a vasectomy like two years ago. Where's my vasectomy brothers at? Here. Yeah? We're shooting blanks, brother. We're shooting blanks. <laughs> no, I go into this vasectomy and I didn't get the memo that you're supposed to shave down there. And uh, yeah, I walk in with my 70s afro going. <laughs> Not good. So the poor nurse has to shave me down there because I forgot, and they assign me a guy nurse. <laughs> so when I get uncomfortable, I say things I shouldn't say. So I was like, I bet your job sucks. You got to shave guys' balls all day. <laughs> that, is, that is not what you say to a guy that has a razor blade <laughs> to my man berries. No, the surgery, let's just say, did not go well. No. Yeah, I've been putting so many frozen peas down there. Yeah, I got, I got frostbite. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> not the blue balls I was looking for. <laughs> so we got a good looking couple up here. What's your name, ma'am? Mary. Mary, is that really your name? Yeah. That's my mom's name. Yeah. I don't like my mom. <laughs> 
I step on cracks on purpose. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who's this next to you? Your lovely husband? What's your name, sir? Matt. Matt? What do you do for work? I'm retired. You're retired? I could retire next week if I die by next month. <laughs> yeah. if, I, if I retire, yeah, if I retire, I'm going to go somewhere relaxing, exotic, foreign. Florida, that's where I'll go. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. So Mary, that's a beautiful name. I'm just joking. My wife's name, not a beautiful name. Not with these home automation devices. My wife's name, no shit, is Alexa. <laughs> not good. Last time we were in the bedroom playing my favorite game, Here Comes Seabiscuit. <laughs> or what she refers to as Limp Biscuit. <laughs> I was like, Alexa, baby, you're making me hot. The damn air conditioner turned on. <laughs> and I have a really bad back, and my back goes out all the time. And I'm like, Alexa, I've fallen, and I can't get up. <laughs> the next day, Amazon Prime delivers a bottle of Viagra to our front door. <laughs> now I'm up all the time. <laughs> But I think the worst one is we're in the bedroom because I'm up all the time, and we're doing our thing. I'm like, I'm like, Alexa, baby, up and down, up and down, sweetheart. The phone rings. It's my neighbor. He's like, Jim, your garage door is opening and closing. <laughs> And then he goes, and it's like it has no rhythm. <laughs> Talking about wives, did you guys watch the news today? Did you guys hear about that wife that put rat poison in her husband's dinner? No. Yeah. I was shocked. There's a wife still making her husband dinner? <laughs> the guys always applaud louder at that one. So I got to know, one of, one of your staff here told me that you guys refer to this room as the G-spot for comedy. Is that true? Yeah. The closest I've ever got to a G-spot is a parking space at the airport. <laughs> I'm just saying, if this is the G-spot, my wife is going to be thrilled I finally found it. <laughs> Yeah, last week I was in Apache Junction. If this is the G-spot, that place is the armpit. <laughs> it's like the Star Wars cantina out there. Oh my gosh. Talking about watching the news, um, they were talking about these all gender bathrooms. And I'm in California not too long ago, and I see a male bathroom and a female bathroom, and they're occupied, and I had to go. And there's an all gender bathroom in the middle, and I'm like, I'm a gender. I'm going to go in there. Now, I walk in, and I'm expecting I'm going to you know, smell the strong scent of lavender, see a rainbow flag, a Caitlyn Jenner's poster. I'm not sure. I walk in there. It's just a regular bathroom. But see, I wanted an experience, Matt. I did. So I sat when I peed. And I did the Silence of the Lambs talk. Man, I liked it. And if you don't know, that urinal cake, it tickles a little bit. <laughs> so a little bit more about me, guys. I'm actually a naval veteran and retired from, thank you, and also retired from the police department. Thank you. My last show, this lady yells out, get off the stage, bacon boy. That's the last time I invite my mom to the show. 
It's funny, when I go in the clubs and I tell them I'm retired from the police department, you see their body language immediately change. And this one guy, I hear him say to his wife, he's like, it's 5-0, hide the vape pen. <laughs> Guys, I'm retired, I don't care. I actually have my marijuana card. Woo! Yeah. yeah. I do, I have clone disease. Oh, clone disease. What's it called? Crohn's disease. <laughs> Whatever Google told me to tell the doctor, that's what I have. <laughs> so some have asked why I wanted to become a police officer. The truth is, discounted food. <laughs> yeah, if you show your badge and ID at Chipotle, 50% off. If you show your gun, 100% off. <laughs> So being retired from the police department, we use a lot of police jargon in the house. Um, my kids get in trouble the other day, and I'm like, you guys are grounded. And my son, without missing a beat, is like, do you have probable cause? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure, son, but you could go to your room and practice your right to remain silent. <laughs> yeah. And my wife, she thinks she's funny. I go to give her a hug and she goes, what's up with the illegal pat down? <laughs> now Matt, I thought this was pretty good, you tell me. I was like, baby, I'm just trying to discharge my loaded weapon. <laughs> Seems good, right? No. My wife's smarter than me. She's like, loaded weapon? You had a vasectomy two years ago. <laughs> Wow. So some have said I look too young to be retired from the police department. I actually had about 10 years on the job and I got shot. Yeah. By a fellow police officer. Some have referred to it as blue on blue violence. So this rookie cop, instead of her shooting the suspect, she turns, shoots me in the shoulder. Yeah. So guys, I was used to getting shot down by the girls in high school, but this is too far. It's a whole nother level. So if my shoulder's all messed up and I can't swing a baton correctly and use excessive force, what's the point of being a cop? <laughs> no. Mary's looking at me now like I'm Denzel Washington from Training Day. No, you gotta be careful making excessive force jokes. You got cops shooting people in the back, that's not cool. But if I'm being honest, I did use excessive force once on my wife for birthday sex. Yeah. And Matt, I promise, I shot her in the back. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not from here. Um, I noticed on your highways, your ADOT signs, um, they're creative, but I don't think they're very realistic. Like I was on my way here and I saw a sign that said, drive hammered, get nailed. <laughs> I think more realistic would be drive hammered, get nailed by Bubba in lockup. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw another one that said, sober driver, question mark, dilly dilly. <laughs> How about drunk driver, question mark, learn to lick a hillbilly's willy? Yeah. That's real, that's all I'm saying. So good looking audience, where are you from? I'm from Tempe. Tempe, the, oh okay, that's a Phoenix suburb out here? Yes sir. Tempe, I'm, I'm, you know what, I, if I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of the Tempe Police Department. So on my way here, I got pulled over for texting and driving. Not like dick pics or anything, don't judge me. <laughs> so the cops yelling at me, giving me the riot act, and I noticed behind him, he was playing Candy Crush on his computer. <laughs> and I was like, Candy Crush, really? I'm like, real men play Clash of Clans. <laughs> so my court date's next month. 
I'll be back with new material, I guess. <laughs> so Travis, what do you do for work? Uh, I'm in construction. Construction? What do you do in construction? Uh, lay concrete. Lay concrete. Okay. You married? Divorced twice. Divorced twice? Yeah. You didn't lay that foundation correctly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, man. Oh. So Arizona, I, uh, I don't know if you guys realize this, but you have a drug problem going on. Are you aware of this? Besides Travis, Matt, and Mary, are we aware of this? Yeah, it's happening at your coffee shop. Dutch Bros. What the hell is going on at that place? I noticed no matter when you drive by, you got cars lined out in the street. You see kids walking out of there looking like they snorted more cocaine <laughs> than Al Pacino and Scarface. <laughs> and the workers there, they're like Disney workers on speed. <laughs> have you seen the menu? They have a menu item called White Angel. <laughs> That's cocaine! <laughs> what do you do in Arizona? They have another one called Blue Ice. That's meth. You got a Breaking Bad Walter White situation going on. Travis, yes, sir. they have a drink called Black Tar Heroin. That's Black Tar Heroin. They had another one called Jelly Donut. Well, that's how they got my fat ass in there. I'm now the lead barista in Tempe. You know? <laughs> uh, so my wife and I, we decided to adopt a dog. Yeah. But not, thank you, thank you. Uh, not any kind of dog. We actually adopted a drug-sniffing retired canine officer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, we thought it'd be cool. It's, yeah, it's not when you have a marijuana card. <laughs> We are fucking this dog up. <laughs> Last time I was smoking, I think he wanted to call the police on me. I think we're like giving him PTSD or something. He's acting all weird. Someone said, what breed dog is he? I go, meth lab, obviously. <laughs> so I feel bad. So we ended up hiding my stash in my wife's lingerie drawer. He's a drug sniffing dog. <laughs> He finds it, eats it all up, gets all paranoid, <laughs> comes running out of the room. He's wearing my wife's yoga pants, a bra, and Arrived. a gag. <laughs> Not the fetch I was looking for, guys. So we feel bad. So we started putting a little bit of pot in his kibble every day and some CBD oil. Now all he does is eats Taco Bell and tells us 9-11 was a conspiracy. <laughs> I don't know. Here's a side note. Do you think regular dogs look at canine officers and like, oh shit, it's the police? <laughs> so I did want to share some police stories with you, but before I do that, I have to get in proper police uniform. And I don't know if you guys know, the most important part of the uniform is the uniform hat. Oh. <laughs> oink, oink. No, I better take this off. My last show, I offended a guy. He stood up, stormed out the door, and we all heard him wee, wee, wee oh. all the way home. <laughs> I felt bad. So this one day, I'm on patrol. Uh, police car's out in front. I'm in full uniform. I go to visit my grandma. And she's in the backyard, and she's watering her garden. Well, I walk up, and I notice Graham is watering not tomato plants, but 25 knee-high marijuana plants. <laughs> go Grammy. That's what I heard. Yeah, all right. All right. So this is before my marijuana card days, and I, you know, I'm feeling a little bit, I don't know what to do here. So I'm like, Graham, you can't do that. And she's like, Jimmy, 
These are Maui Wowie special blend. <laughs> They're worth $5,000. I'm like, Graham, I know. How much are they worth? $5,000. I'm like, all right, let me go get the fertilizer. <laughs> somebody, somebody asked me where my grandma is now. Prison. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She died of a drug overdose. <laughs> I'm kidding, all jokes aside, she actually works at a dispensary, and that's not bullshit. So I pulled over a car one time, and this lady tells me, she goes, you look like that cop from the movies. And I'm like, uh, Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon? She's like, no. More like Paul Blart, mall cop. <laughs> wow. So uh, homeless people are something you gotta deal with on a police department. Now don't get me wrong, I have empathy for homeless people, um, but if you notice a homeless person and their will work for food sign is written on an iPad, <laughs> probably not homeless, guys. <laughs> Or they're taking payment by Bitcoin? <laughs> Probably not homeless. Or 350 pounds. Homeless maybe, but would we agree? Not hungry. <laughs> uh, so um, on the police department when you're young, they give you a uniform, a bulletproof vest, a utility belt. You feel like Batman. And I was 22 years old at the time. All I was looking for was my bat woman. Or Robin, I'm not particular. How you doing, Travis? You wanna be my boy wonder? Yeah? So we did find bat woman. She was 95 years old and she had a bat flying around her kitchen. So we walk into this call and this vampire thing flies right at my face. Yeah, and I hear in the background this 12-year-old girl screaming at the top of her lungs. And then I realize, I'm that 12-year-old girl. <laughs> so this lady looks at me, and she knows I'm not going to do nothing. She turns into like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> and she grabs a Yellow Pages phone book. That's how old she was, a Yellow Pages. <laughs> And she smashes this bat to death. I don't know if you know, it's a felony to kill a bat. I walked up, gave her a fist bump. I'm like, listen, as long as you don't tell your neighbors that I scream like a bitch, <laughs> we're good. I drive by that house, she still sticks her head out through the curtains and just shakes her head at me. <laughs> Thank you. I pulled over a car one time. It was going 10 miles an hour. And to give you a visual, it had a pot 420 bumper sticker. It was a lime green Volkswagen. Smoke billowing out of the cabin. I'm like, bro, you okay? You're going 10 miles an hour. He's like, that's the speed limit, man. I'm like, no, man. That's the highway sign, I-10. I'm like, when you get to the 101, that's not the speed limit. <laughs> These people exist, be careful. So when you think of cops, they usually love their coffee and their donuts, right? And when I was on the police department, I loved donuts. I ate thousands of them. I mean thousands, like that's high. That's like Willie Nelson high. <laughs> and you know you have a bad food addiction when you're willing to eat that food out of a bucket. I mean, most cops are trying to make sergeant. I was legit trying to make colonel. <laughs> so sure as stuff, I'm eating my chicken on patrol and I see this guy breaking into a car. And I jump out of my car to pull my gun, but I can't get it out because my hand is all finger licking good. <laughs> 
So I'm like, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. This guy won't notice. I pointed a drumstick at him. <laughs> Original, not crispy. I'm like, sir, get on the ground. <laughs> Do it now. I swear to God, it worked. We cuffed him, stuffed him, brought him back to the station. I thought I got away with it until my buddy uploads the dash cam video. <laughs> Guys, that's my legacy to my police department and my kids. Pointing fried chicken at a guy. Oh. And you wonder, Arizona, why I'm here doing comedy for you. <laughs> Knock, knock. knock. Yeah. Not the police anymore. <laughs> yeah. So on the police department, um, we had this lady. She was overly intoxicated, and she was coming from her bachelorette party, and I had to give her a ride home. So she gets in the back of the car, and she's the bride-to-be. And she has one of those veils on, and it has hundreds of miniature black penises on it. <laughs> I know, an oxymoron, I get it. <laughs> so I'm driving down the street, and then sure enough, this car jumps out in front of me. And all I hear is this. I look back, this poor girl's face hit the cage of the car. Her face is looking like Lego my ego waffle. <laughs> And these black penises start flying around the entire car. <laughs> Guys, there was more black penises flying around than a Kim Kardashian sex tape. <laughs> I got a day off for that one. <laughs> Another thing we had to investigate on our police department was guys sending inappropriate pictures to females. Yeah, yeah, he's here, he's here. No, if you're gonna send a dick pic, do it next to a travel toothpaste. You'll look huge, that's all I'm saying. So, my wife, she sends me a text and it says, what are you wearing? And I'm like, oh, the wife's feeling saucy. So I could have sent her, you know, the dick pic of my Irish, you know, leprechaun doing the jig or something, but I wanted to be more creative. So I sent her a video and I was like, what's up, baby? What am I wearing? My birthday suit. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And I start twerking. <laughs> and I hit send. Phone responds back, we love the video. <laughs> we? Guys, I wish I was bullshitting. I sent this to a group Text. <laughs> My mom responds back. We were just wondering what you were wearing to the family reunion on Sunday. And then my brother responds, oh, this video is going to go viral. Eggplant emoji, eggplant emoji. And then my phone dings one last time, and it says, your wife has left the group. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I'll tell you about the craziest call I ever went on. It was a loud noise complaint. And uh, Matt, you'll like this. Details of the call say it's an orgy in progress. <laughs> I'm 22 years old. I'm excited. I'm thinking young girls pulling their hair, tickle fights. I don't know. Until I pull in the subdivision and it's Sunny Slope Retirement Center. Oh my gosh. So we walk in, bingo game gone wild. Gravity had taken full effect. You had boobs sweeping the floor. 
balls sweeping the floor, <laughs> and fucking medical necklaces everywhere. <laughs> My penis actually said, help, I fall and I can't get up. Travis, why my penis sounds like Mickey Mouse, I'm not sure. We walk into the next room, we see hair, wrinkles, and what looks like a litter of Sharpays. <laughs> well, sir, you remember that night, don't you? <laughs> that blue pill worked out for him. <laughs> he was one of the most hardened criminals I ever did deal with. No, I go to go through the rest of the house. I go in the hallway, and I see this old lady, and she's blowing bubbles. Bubbles was her boyfriend. <laughs> I'm so shocked, I slip and I fall. To this day, I'm not sure if it was KY Jelly or old man DNA. <laughs> Even after I tasted it. <laughs> <laughs> 